All right, guys, so it's 2.58, uh, January, February 2nd, um, here at... Um, here at Best Buy, because, uh, unfortunately, my laptop was down and out. I was literally working on a video for you guys, and, uh, she just crashed. But it's 2.58 in the afternoon. I actually just got done with the gym workout. I know that's extremely late for me to work out, um, but, you know, yeah. I actually I haven't been sleeping very well. I go through these phases of sleeping really well and then really not sleeping well at all. So I'm in one of those phases. So this morning I woke up at like 7. I couldn't fall back asleep. Um, at like 8.30 I tried to lay back down. I laid back down for like an hour. Maybe I fell asleep. Maybe I didn't. I don't really know. So I had a session with Jenny Lee, my wife, um, and I had an energy clearing session. And uh, so it kind of like revived me today. I'm feeling pretty good. And if you guys don't know what energy clearing is or what my wife does, I'm going to put a link below because she's actually rebooting her website. And um, I think it's a lot clearer and easier to understand what she does. So uh, y'all can check that out if you want. Otherwise, I'm really happy because I got my computer back. Um, she's all beautified up. She's cleaned up. She's got nothing on her. So um, everything's on the hard drive. And I'm going to try to get back to making that video for you guys. So I'm just excited that I, I got it back. And um, I'm more, more pumped than ever to get some videos to you guys. So let's do this. <laughs> February 4th, uh, 5.10. I'm just printing out some orders and stuff. And uh, I'm excited because tonight me and Jane Lee are going to go shopping for Super Bowl. I don't know, guys. I'm pretty excited about the Super Bowl. There we go. Get some better lighting in here. I'm pretty excited about the Super Bowl. Um, I started following football like three or four years ago. And I really enjoy it. I do. Um, you know... There's things I don't enjoy about it, and there's a lot of things that I do enjoy about it. So I'm really excited about the championship this year because I think it's going to be really interesting game. I cannot decide who I want to win. I can't decide if I want to go with the all-out legend of Peyton Manning or if I want to go with like the new breed, the new school Cam Newton. I like both of them um, pretty equally. I'm having a hard time, but either way, I'm excited. Me and Jenny Lee are hosting a Super Bowl party, so we're going to get some stuff. Got the car all loaded up, some uh, .5 CC gear, um, and some Alliance Sphere stuff in here too. Shout out to you guys. Some people bought some stuff, which is pretty awesome. I'm wearing actual clothes. I feel like I never get to wear actual clothes. Um, not that I never get to wear, but I'm always working and I try not to wear stuff that I could possibly get ink on. So I um, usually wear like mess up shirts or something like that. So um, yeah, gonna drop these bad boys off and uh, then apparently I have to come back and then we're gonna pick up Jenny Lee because she's not quite ready yet. So. credit card I talked about in the last uh, video got it all up awesome that's exciting Woo! we're at Walmart and I just found all these Simbas they're not the real Simba they have these like um, it's the lion guard but it brings back memories <laughs> and babe you were saying what would you, did you just say before just in time just in time for our potential kid for our babies <laughs> Walmart was a bust. Nothing yeah. at Walmart, except for Creamer. Boo. We're at Fred Meyer. We still haven't found anything. Nope. This is like now an official hunt. An official like uh, treasure hunt. Sometimes you just gotta hit up the good old Dollar Tree. All right, so we're at the third place, but we found the stuff, look. Yeah, yeah, actual football gear. And we're making chili, so we got some bowls too. You got some bowls, babe? Some bowls and some spoons. 
And the most baller part of all is uh, we're actually traveling this week. Right, babe? Shout out to Wisconsin. Wisconsin! And um, I really needed, I had two, two different uh, travel carry-ons. So I needed a new one, so I got this one. It's dope. Hella dope. It's only 49 bucks. It's like a hard case, four wheel. So that'll be uh, really helpful when we go to, well actually I have a couple of traveling things coming up, so it'll be super helpful. Worth the dollar, that's for sure. So, awesome, I'm excited about it. It's just really cool looking. What's going on YouTube? It's February 5th, 10:14 in the morning. Just got done with my gym workout. I'm on a push-pull legs routine twice a week. But while I was on cardio, I was watching some videos when I get my video time in. And I've been, I read an article and watched a little news video or whatever about the whole trans uh, bathroom issue. And I've talked about this in my videos in the past, but super quick recap. Pretty much people are wanting to get petitions and laws put in place so that trans people cannot use a restroom or have to use the restroom of their biological gender or they have to show proof of their gender now in order to use the restroom and it's pretty much just completely um, isolating and uh, shaming trans people. One thing that I've noticed and I'll probably be talking about this topic because it's been going on for a few months now. One thing that I noticed in this topic is that they don't really talk much about trans men when it comes to the bathroom. It makes me think about society and how we view men and women and how right now there's really only two genders, man and woman. So I question, all I keep seeing is, oh, we're not gonna let men into the women's bathroom. It's pretty much the, been the, the topic and the driving force for most politicians and anyone who's trying to get this, these bathroom laws in place. And their concept is that there's trans women who they're totally defeminizing and downgrading and shaming them and calling them men. And they're saying that these men are trying to get into women's spaces. And just like I mentioned in past videos, pretty much it's ridiculous because they're calling women men and that alone just drives me up a wall. But I'm gonna stay focused on the trans male aspect of this, okay? So the concept is that, you know, they, they're they just focused on the women, on the women, on the women, on the trans women, the trans women, they're gonna hurt your women, right? Like, so like totally skipping out of the trans women form, nobody's talking about trans men. Nobody's talking about it. And so it brings me back to my other point is as a society, do we not acknowledge trans men as much because in our society, men are held as the superior gender? I'm gonna do the correct thing, I'm just gonna stop driving. All right, so like I was saying, society views women as less superior than men. So question is, is the reason that we're so focused on men going to the bathroom, men competing in the Olympics, you know, when I say men, I'm saying trans women, right? But this is what they're saying. So the question is, is it harder for society to understand why a man in the superiorness that the men have, right, would ever lower his standards to become a woman? Does that make sense? Because we still as a society feel as though men are more superior than, than women. And that's, that's our whole, I mean, I think that is the key as to why trans men are not brought up when we talk about, um, you know, going in CrossFit or going to the Olympics or going in bathrooms, okay? I mean, in the Olympics, the man, the trans man who is qualified for the Olympics, Crix Moiser, Chris, shout out to you. Uh, you know, I've been I've been in contact with you. You're an awesome guy. I hope to get to know you better. And you know, he's he's repping point five athletics, which is awesome. You know, he's really he's repping us as a community, and he's doing a really good job at it. But you know, he's the one who's qualified, and all they're talking about is women in the Olympics, this and women in the bathroom, that. And it's like again because we are biological women who. Tr transition to men, right? You know, in their standards, lack of better words. Um, 
we are like it makes sense because we are we were the lower of the two sexes you know we were women and of course we'd want to be men who wouldn't want to be a man that is the best thing ever right and so i just can't help but have this this in my head that like we just keep talking about trans women because society still feels men are the superior sex and they don't understand why you would ever in a million years downgrade yourself to being a female and I think that's what just like ugh, sets a fire because it goes even deeper than the transgender issues we have. It goes to the fact that people are still not seen as equals, that we live in a society where white people think they're superior than blacks, men think they're superior than females, um, you know, uh, and even in our LGBT world, it's like, you know, trans people and gender nonconforming people are put at the bottom of the of the priority list. So it's really interesting and it, it dives so much deeper than just trans people using bathrooms, okay? Because again, it even goes straight to the fetish. They think that trans, you know, like, shout out to Ryan Salins, you know, author of, uh, 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 my sec, uh, The Second Son. And, you know, he says, like, you know, what'd he say? Um, he said... Oh, he was like, I don't know what what people, what like politicians think that we're doing in the bathrooms. Like, what do these people think people do in the bathrooms? Like, I don't know about you guys, especially at a public bathroom. I'm like going in and I'm going out. Okay, that's it. I'm not sitting on my phone. I'm not even like, you know, you know, I'm not having a party in the bathroom. So, you know, he says like, I don't know what these politicians do in their bathrooms, but you know, us trans people are just trying to pee, right? So, um, I think I've went on long enough for this, but. But yeah, that's that's been my main annoyance, and I think it's deeper than just trans people using bathrooms. I've already expressed my annoyance and uh, anger and 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 disappointment in the world. Yeah, we just want to pee, people. We just want to pee. It's another attempt for the world to say that this group of people is better than this group of people, and that you know that is not the world that we're going towards. So if you're on that. Tr train where you think I'm better than someone else because I do this or I'm this or I'm that and they're this, then you better hop off the train and get on the everyone's equal train because that is where we're headed. I have a vision of the world that I really believe will come true. And you know what? Things are happening very quickly. Keep doing what we're doing, guys. Keep keep on fighting the good old fight. So, all right, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Otherwise, I'm trying to get you guys videos more often. I hope you're enjoying the content. You know, I do these videos for you guys um, because, you know, I know that, you know, I, I want to answer questions. I want to get a voice out there for trans men, for the trans community. I want you guys to have an outlet. So let me know what you guys want to hear. Let me know if you're liking the videos, how you're liking them, how you're not liking them, what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of, so I can keep providing good content for you guys. All right, that's it. Peace.